Hey everyone, Paul here. Uh, ready for another uh, update on progress on my XR3 project car here. Been a long time since the last uh, update and been busy with a lot of things, primarily the wiring and um, trying to get the engine to run right. So uh, let me just show you real quick what's going on. Um, uh, there's been a lot of work installing the wiring. I took out dash panels uh, and pieces here to show you what the wiring looks like underneath. Wiring's not totally done. It's not really bundled up and packaged up the way it should be, but I wanted to leave it at this point here uh, the way it looks so that you could see what was going on underneath the dash. So you see uh, a lot of wiring bundles uh, going through under the dash and then over on the passenger side um, is the um, fuse box. It's right there, passenger footwell, and I have it mounted to a little plate that folds down so you can access it from inside the car when all the dash panels are in place. That folds down and then folds back up. Um, nice compact under the dash. You see a lot of wires still kind of uh, put in place with, with tie wraps and bungee cords. All that still has to be packaged up. And then we got some wiring down here that leads to the back of the car. And um, back here, all of the lights are in place back here for tail lights, brake lights, turn signals, third brake light. And I have some solenoids um, to uh, actuate the rear door. So if I close this, um, this door here um, and push a little button on the, on the keychain, um, that door opens up with us with an electrical solenoid that's right there and I think I showed that in uh, some other videos still a little wiring packaging to do here with these wires hanging there but in the back it's it's looking much better and then um, here under under the hood um, we have the wires packaged up for the headlights and the turn signals up front I got that looking pretty good there. And then uh, there is still some wiring cleanup to be done here in the engine compartment, but everything's hooked up. Um, I do have some problems that uh, need to be troubleshoot, uh, troubleshot and fixed, uh, but they're minor. Um, everything works for the most part. And um, you can see here wiring bundles coming out of the passenger compartment and leading over to areas where um, where they terminate okay and um, over here I wanted to show you um, I have a door this is the driver's side door I have a, I have the passenger side door in place um, for uh, to show you how the insides uh, are working on that but here's a packaged up driver door with all the trim in place so you can see how that looks kind of up close. Turned out nice. And inside the car, um, all the instrumentation is in. Um, speedometer, tachometer, the water pressure gauge, fuel tank level, um, some various items here that have yet to be installed. Um, and then over here, I, I actually had to move the ignition switch and uh, light switch and windshield wiper switch over to the center console, which actually works out pretty well. Let me just show you real quick. The uh, got uh, up and down uh, window, electric window switches down here, kind of hard to see uh, on the center console. And uh, that actuates the um, electric windows. I've uh, got limit switches in place and all the wiring and also solenoid to open the doors when uh, when you push a button. Control unit for that's sitting right down, down there near the footwell. And I mentioned I was having some engine problems. Uh, happy to report the engine problems are taken care of. So let me just start it up real quick and show you. And I do have a clutch uh, lockout so you have to have your foot on the clutch to start it up. So I 
had trouble running the engine uh, above idle. Uh, it wouldn't accelerate, um, but uh, ran some uh, diesel fuel cleaner through the engine and uh, managed to clear up that problem. It's probably my fault for um, letting the engine sit for seven or eight years without doing anything to it. But um, it is running well and it, it is accelerating as it should and it's making good power. So all of that is working well. Um, And then I can just show you what the lights look like real quick. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but they're LEDs front and back. And then we've got side marker lights and front fender well marker lights. And uh, let me just turn on the, um, the blinkers real quick. So it's a hazard flash. As you can see, we've got some really nice... Uh, bright LEDs um, to use as a hazard and turn signal. Kind of see how they alternate, which is kind of cool. A little halos on the headlights. And uh, it's giving you an idea of what it's going to end up looking like. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll put out another update once I finish up all the trim out details and uh, uh, get the thing ready to put on the road.